hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to create a calculator app in this project i'm using node.js and express.js it is very simple app and it calculate two numbers so i'm going to see the desktop and i'm going to create a new directory and i'm going to call it uh, calculator dash app then I'm going to cd to this directory and then I'm going to create a new file I'm going to type touch calcapp.js and then I'm going to open it in VS Code VS Code I'm going to initialize the app I'm going to type npm in it I'm going to select uh, all the settings as a default enter enter for this project, I'm going to install Express.js. It's a backend uh, framework. And now it's installed, and I'm going to uh, fire Express.js in my calculator app.js. Then I'm going to start the application by typing const app express. I'm going to create a new route. I'm going to type app.get and uh, the, the, the home route and callback function. And then I'm going to type rest.send a welcome message in order to test it now i'm going to create our server i'm going to type app.lesson 3000 port 3000 i'm going to uh, type function and console.log server is running on port 3000 and then now i'm going to save it and run the application Now I'm going to create an HTML file. Inside this HTML file, I'm going to create a new form and use it in our post method to get the input from user. So the post method send the data that is uh, entered the, to the form to a location, which is home route. So it means the post method handle any post request that come to the home route. So in this form, I'm going to use two input for entering number one and number two and then I'm going to use a button to calculate the two number and I'm going to call it sum and I'm going to save it instead I'm going to send a message in our route I'm going to send a file by this method rest.send file and then underscore underscore dir name plus the file calculator.html I'm going to save it and if I refresh you can see instead of a message it send a, a file type a two number for example six and seven and press the sum button it doesn't work because we don't have a post method so I'm going to now create a post method for creating a post method i'm going to type app.post and i'm going to type the home route and function request and then i'm going to rest.send uh, uh, for example a message like successful post now i'm going to start the application and now i'm tested so if i refresh and type for example a two number for example i'm going to type uh, uh two and ten i'm going to press sum now you see successful post i'm going to install body parser npm install body dash parser i'm going to wait until it finish now it is done you can see in the package.json file it's already installed now i'm going to require this package inside my application and after that i am going to use it i'm going to type app.use and then I'm going to type uh, body parser dot url encoded I'm going to open a round bracket and curly bracket I'm going to type extended col colon true and dot post I'm going to um, type console dot lock and I'm going to type uh, rec dot body what does it do it it grab the data from the input field and post it in our server now I'm going to save it and start the application again 
and now the server is running on port 3000 i'm going to, to open the application on localhost now i'm going to type uh, five for example and the second number five i'm going to press sum now if now you can see the data has been posted in a you're almost done i'm going to create two variables for number one and number two i'm going to type const n1 equal to rec dot body dot n1 n1 is the name of input field inside the html file you can see name n1 and for the second variable i'm going to type const and i'm going to call it n2 equal to rec dot body dot n2 n2 is the name of input field in html file and i'm going to save it inside the third variable which i'm going to call it sum equal to n1 plus n2 and i'm going to type rest.send and i'm going to type a message for example the sum is and plus the sum variable so now i'm going to save it and let's see if it's working or not i'm going to start the application again and yeah the server is running on port 3000 i'm going to start the local host for example i type 5 and the second number i'm going to type 10 but in a string format i'm going to type how to convert a string to number in javascript i'm going to use this syntax to con to convert a string to number now i'm going to use it inside the the calculator app i'm going to type n1 equal to i'm going to open a round bracket i'm going to type parse integer equal to n1 n1 is the name of the variable and also n2 parse int equal to n2 now i'm going to save it application oh i got an error because i used const now i'm going to change it to var now i'm going to save it again and start the application so for example i'm going to type 10 and the second number i'm going to type 20 now i'm going to select sum now you can see the sum is 30 guys thanks for watching i'm going to explain it in summary we use a body parser to grab data from input field and post it to our server and in this project we use it express.js for our backend project we created a new route by using app.git and then we redirect it to home route and then we use it callback function and to send a file that we have created calculator.html and then we created a post request uh, to grab the data from the input field and calculate the sum of two number and post it to user so thanks for watching if you like this video please share like and subscribe to my channel